What's up, what's up? This is a quick little story. When I was in BCF, which stands for Brooklyn Navy Yard. Brooklyn Navy Yard bugging. It's Brooklyn Correctional Facility, which we call the Navy Yard. Not too many dudes talk about the Navy Yard, BCF, but that's what they did the Locked Up video, Locked Up, which I will never hear again because that dude put that rat on it, so that's done, we'll never listen to that song again, but anyway, so one day, out the blue, two five percenters come in. This was in 19, could have been 93 or the beginning of 94. Cause I got locked up 93. So when I blamed at the boys, well, that's a story, that's a crazy story. So you know, my classification were always high, you know, high class. A lot of y'all don't know about that. I'm just playing. I'm just, you know. Well, anyway. So, these dudes was brolic. Big dudes. Then we had this other kid that was already in the house. He was 5% or so. He didn't have no time on the jack. Do never made no noise. One of those dudes. But his people walked in. Not his people, because he ain't know them. But you know, then the same basically gang. 5% of basically, y'all know what it is, man. Muslims, y'all know what it is. <clears throat> so yeah. Then the same organization, they say. You know what I mean? So, these dudes, as soon as they come in, they wallet. No lie. And they dead the jacks. Talking about the jacks is ours. Oh. That was crazy. I had little time on that phone. I ain't gonna say I had two, three hours. Hour. I probably had half hour. 45 minutes. But. I used to call in the middle of the night. We used to take the jack. We used to take the jack. From the bubble, connected, and recording people all night. So I was good, because I used to call people in the nighttime too, you know what I'm saying? So I'd be like, yo, y'all could get on. I'm like, I'm getting on tonight, you know what I'm saying? And you had to risk it, because you know, I don't care what they're gonna do, send me to the box, like, come on, man. So anyway, I ain't really need no time. I used to call people sometimes 2, 3 in the morning, no lie. I remember on on um, one new, on New Year's, on New Year's Day, I took the jack. I started calling people at 12 o'clock. They thought I was home. You home? Yeah, I'm home. Lying, you know, playing around. Playing with my peoples. Yeah, I'm home. Pick me up here. I'm right here. I just came home. Then I'd be like, nah, I'm just playing. They were like, you five? We think you all. But anyway, back to the story. Let's get back to this. They dead the jack. Everybody looked they spook like all the gangsters looking like wangsters. So anyway, me being who I am, I go up to them. I'm like, yo, I need to get on this jack, man. We're in the middle. If you know how BCF, there was beds on the left, beds on the right, and like two beds right in the middle all the way to the back. So I tell them, yo, I need to get on the jack, you know what I'm saying? I had my hands in my pocket, I remember. He was like, get your hands out of your pocket. The dude with the, with the dreads was talking, the one in the middle, big dude. Yeah, and that's the bozo. You see, I, I just drew a little chick-looking bozo on the side. He was a 
That dude, man, he's a clown. And, and later on, we went to another house. Matter of fact, them dudes ain't even last in the house long because they had just got it on with Latin Kings in another house. Which I heard they put it in. Kings put it in. Salute to JR. JR was involved in that. I learned later on. Got cool with him, you know what I'm saying? JR from Bushwick. So anyway, back to the story. Okay, so we're in the middle of the aisle, right? It's them three lined up, like in the little cartoon. You see, that's the dude in the middle. That's Bozo on the side. You know what I'm saying? The other dude with the razor. So when I woke up to them, I got my hands in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? He like, yo, get your hands out, out your pocket. You know why he tells me? You know what he tells me? Of all gangster lines, I will never forget this. This is on God. He tells me this. He said, are you oozing for a bruising? I ain't know if I should laugh or get scared. I ain't know what to do. I was still oozing for a bruising. You know, for real, seriously, that's why he asked me. He said, are you oozing for a bruising? And then guess what? Guess what happened? He said I could rock on the jack. He said I could rock on the jack. Like I needed his permission. But he said I could rock. You know why? He said of everybody in this house, ain't nobody even approached me yet. You the only dude that approached me. I'm young too. I wasn't brought up at that time. Keep it a hundred, I'm a little chubby at that time, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what he told me. He said, you're the only one here in this whole house. He said, I know you don't got hours on this jack. But he was like, you know, like I had heart enough to go up to him and ask him for the phone, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't no cutting him out, no stabbing, I had to do nothing crazy. Just cause I went up and asked him. You believe that? Yeah, but <clears throat> I would never, never forget that. That was funny as hell to me. Are you oozing for a bruising? And then the other dude, the little cobbler on the side. Them dudes ain't even last in the house, I don't think, maybe a day or two. What up? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they had that fight, so they probably went to the box or wherever they went. But yeah, man, I had no problems with them. And it's crazy because, man, the little dude on the side, he stays in the house, and what happens? No phone time. No nothing. Bro, don't me believe in the hype all these people say about the island, man. With that, I'm going to let you go. Peace, y'all.